Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, don't forget to please give them a thumbs up and subscribe. So I have the signatures ready to go in. I found this vintage linen that actually fits perfect here as a pocket. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stitch this on the machine. So now I took a piece of um, spare. This one's cardstock. You don't have to do cardstock. And I'm gonna make a template. So this way I can kind of get it in the middle. Some people too, at this point, like to put some type of closure here, not closure, um, tassel. But I'm not gonna do that. I like to just clip mine off the top. The other thing I was thinking too is um, placement on where I'm gonna put them. So let me go work on that and I'll be right I back. put dots where I'm gonna do the placement of this journal. So let me go and pull out my nifty thing that I have and I'll show you guys how I do it. So this is our easy punch tool and I want it to be on flat surface. It's made out of wood, my husband makes them and they are on my Ko-Fi page. So meanwhile, I want the middle of this. So I'm gonna make sure it's the middle and fold it in half. And then I'll show you how this works. I put my journal inside here and poke holes right down the center, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'll try it. It's a little bulky. guys so I have all my signatures sewn in and it's a little big but it's mostly the extra laces from here I thought of putting a strip of this beautiful velvet here and see I went to add this on top of this but it just kind of washed itself away I think it needed a little bit something a little bit more darker and I really liked this combination and I'm hoping um, I might even drag that out a little bit and have that hang off the side as well And I'd like to add something here. Now, oh, I'm adding this doily right here. And <clears throat> I got to glue the hang on. I'm almost wondering if I should make this removable. So it can come off and we can have a simple journal. Not 100% sure yet. So that's what I've come up with so far. Let me try to zoom this camera out a little bit so you can see. There we go. I also got this beautiful 
beautiful care package from one of you guys, one of my YouTubers. Actually, she won one of the sewing machines and I was in shock. I got a big box of goodies. I was almost thinking of adding this along the bottom and then possibly having, oops, would help if I was in camera, adding this along the bottom in something thin across the top. So I was thinking I, maybe something blingy. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm going to play around a little bit with this and see exactly where this will take us. And it, as we know, it should be very interesting. <laughs> it always is. It always is. I also have this too, but I just think this might be a little too much. I don't know. Today, I kind of feel like I have um, crafter's fart. <laughs> you know, you just have those days sometimes. I'm almost thinking I might be adding this dress. I just kind of think I like the simplicity of it. We can always add this one inside the journal. But I'm really liking the simplicity of this. And I can add more things. I like this little lace along this edge. And I thought maybe I could add, I, I pulled this out because this matches. I can add some lace, uh, some bling up here. I really like this around this, around the journal. So let me just play a little bit here and see what we come up with. Now I'm going to see, pull this out and see what another one would look like. This one, a little more simple. that and I'll tell you why I love 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 this one but you end up losing the beauty of this when you put the, the dress down and this one you don't lose that beauty because it's very simple and then we can go ahead and add our pearls and things I do want something around the edge. I know it's an unfinished edge, but I think I'd like something around the edge. I just kind of have to figure out what. I actually thought this through a little bit, and what I decided was to cover this. And the reason being is I have all this beautiful lace that I sell and color I just really like that finished look. And then you open it and you have that lace inside. It just makes it soft and very delicate, I feel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue around this and attach this. But meanwhile, I'm going to add some silk underneath so I have a tie because I did not add that but I really like the look of this I think it's very pretty and I could add either this dress or the other dress where did I put it and they both look beautiful absolutely beautiful and then I was toying with adding one of these but just toying, I might not do it. I have a smaller one. That's a little small. I love these. And I just might add that to the cover. 
you know, I kind of like this so much that I'm wondering if I should just add a, add a girl here. Not this one, but... And make this the dressmaker and inside add the dress. Oh, this is where I go with this stuff. This could look very pretty. So I'm not 100% sure. Ooh, see, this is the day I'm having. I'm having one of those, those I don't know what to do with it day. I also just got a bunch of this vintage lace, which is beautiful, that I'm going to be selling. So maybe I should see if even this looks, oh, you know what? Wow. Look at this actually looks beautiful along the edge. <laughs> I'm really liking this. I like the contrast between the pink and um, the white. Oh, I'm liking the girl better on the cover. I think I'm going to switch my whole my whole thought process. That does look nice. But I think I'm going to cut out a lady and make her be the dressmaker. I'm just, now I'm not crazy about the dress on there. And I'll have to find a place inside to add the dress. And then don't forget, this is gonna go with this. So the other thing I could do is in the center, create flowers. So first I have this beautiful silk. I'm gonna add that because I didn't add it. And I just took my three in one. And just, I'll show you. Just kind of rubbed it, whoops. And it's not going to matter if I do or I don't because you're not going to see it when I add the lace on top. Now I'm gonna leave an edge just because I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna close it, close it off. Which direction did I have this going? I problem is, is I have way too much stuff out on my table. Let's see which direction. Look how beautiful that is, the colors are gorgeous. Nope, I think it was the other direction. We'll get it. There. And this stuff has a nice stretch to it. Perfect. And I'm at, like I said, I'm leaving a little bit on the edges and on the top and bottom quite sure what I'm going to do with this yet. So now I'm going to do the same way I did before and you're not going to see this because my hands are here but I'll show you. I added a bunch of glue. Now I got to add it to the rest of the area and you know I just want enough to anchor the lace down in place. My silicone to spread it a little bit. So I really like that lady. I'm gonna see if I can fussy cut around her. Let me try it. Let's see what I can. So what I did is just create a silhouette around her. I really like that. 
and this is going to be the dressmaker i just need to see if i want to add anything underneath her to give her a little bit of lift okay now i have that all glued on <clears throat> what i've decided i'm going to do is i'm just going to go through and glue this totally down to the corner and then i think i'm just going to kind of glue some of these together. So let me go do that. Now, so I'm gluing these so they stick together and then I'm gonna go back through and probably trim it a little bit and I'll use these to help keep them together. I love these. If you guys don't have these, I highly suggest you invest in them. I use them for everything everything under the sun. So I really have no idea what I'm doing here, but <clears throat> let's hope it comes out. Sometimes those are the things, those are the times when they come out, it comes out kind of cool. So here's the cover, I think. Let me just make sure, nope, wrong way. There we go, that's the front cover. Next, we're gonna add this. So that's gonna go there. So let's do that while we wait for the other to dry. What's the right side? Oh, that's the right side. So let me, my mother's texting me. We're planning my daughter's baby shower in a few weeks. So we're trying to figure out the um, the food that we're gonna have. We're having it at a, um, a restaurant, a brunch. Now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this lady. Am I gonna add stuff under her? What am I gonna do? It's glued down. And I'm not too concerned about how this is gonna look because I'm gonna add some lace on the outside. I just wanted, I didn't want the whole book to unravel because it does, um, not shed. Ugh, I can't think of the word for it. So I'm gonna add this across the top. I think that's gonna look really nice around the top and around the bottom. I think you could always change that. So now I wanna figure out, do we wanna add maybe another small door in the center? Let's see what we have. I was even thinking, what if we did something like added a little bit of fabric under it just so it's coming out a little bit could do something like that and you know I tend to like adding lace around things oh, you know what hold on I wonder if this is too much see it's not perfectly it's not perfectly rounded So I'm not too crazy about that. Let me uh, try a few things I'm out. certain with adding anything under here because this is fabric. It's not paper. And it's gonna make her not flat unless I add put her on paper, which kind of defeats the whole purpose. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna put her down and I think I'm gonna add things around her. Like I really like this piece here but I want to see what else I have before I add that because it kind of blends in but I think it blend, might blend in a little too much and I also I'm gonna play around with this a little bit I really like this
still could have that in the corner. I want to find something that's white. That might make it pop more. I just think it gets lost in that. So this kind of frames her. I just need to um, cut this a little bit and work with this piece. This piece I already cut. I love these because they just, they fit so nicely. So now I gotta figure out, because this one's a little different. I wanna see if I have another one. It's similar, but yet different. I mean, I could cut it right there and that would circle right up if I did it like this. But let me see if I have another one. So I did find another one. I just need to um, kind of play with this. I trying to make it so it looks balanced to some degree. And I think that's not so bad. a little higher I could still add this piece or that little piece right in there like that and I could add that piece like that I kind of like that now I'm going to adhere these things down and I don't want any um, glue coming through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my spatula here. So I'm just going to add just like this. And I'm just going to spread it. And then I'm going to be adding the other things on top. Where did they even go? <laughs> there we go. So let me cut these. I can always put them back. Find I need them, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'm going to glue this down just like this. There. So let's glue that down. My glue gun should be hot. doing a little bit at a time. It's a little blank spot there. There. So my next step is going to be to add some of this. See which direction it goes. I need to figure out if I want this to go all the way around. The journal. 
So let me just start gluing this down. I could bring this all the way around. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add, I think that big flower on the top because this would be too much, too much bling, I think. Mm. Maybe not. <laughs> it kind of looks pretty there. I kind of like that. What do you think? I also have this too, but I think up against this, it's not, we're not gonna see it. I just really wish it was white, but it's not. But this looks really nice here. Let me just pull one more thing out and try. Pretty too. Or, I could do this on the side of the journal. Up like that. I still like it like this, but these tassels. I could take them off. of these and I really like that there just gotta find the right positioning for it you have to really like frilly things <laughs> and that looks pretty right there it's a little too much for both but I think that's stick a few of these down just so they don't get in the way and one more thing I want to do and I wanted to do something oh, going down look at that I wanted something going down here I have this but this is kind of thin but it might be okay. That's kind of pretty. I have a thicker one too. Let me go grab the thick one and see if the thick one is the thick good. one. And you know what? I'm not crazy about it. I think less is best. And I'm gonna use this right down the center. Just tie it all in. And that's just 
on the side. So there you have it. I mean, I still could, <laughs> I still could add more. But I'm going to keep it as is for now. <laughs> and I'm going to give you guys a final flip through of this so you can see. Well, not a final flip through, a preliminary flip through. Because I still have to um, decorate the inside and then I'll do one last flip through when it's done. It may take a little bit though. So I'm going to pull this out a little to show you. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great night, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.